Hey, you do. I'd like to first start off by saying thank you to all my new subscribers. Uh, be sure to check out my other videos because it seems as though one in particular video is somewhat going viral. <laughs> I'm clearly resonating with the collective. I'm feeling blessed to be part of this journey with you. Please know that I stand in solidarity with you as well. I very much appreciate all your compliments, compliments and validations. Trying to find the strength within is difficult for some. And I'd just like to say that I appreciate you for who you are. I appreciate you for all the hard work that you've put in to your life to become your best, most authentic self and to be a light and a beacon for those in need. I know that's the subscriber tribe that I collectively try to resonate with. So I do thank you for the support as well as all the likes, all the comments, the donations that are coming in are beautifully, uh, most, I'm kind of speechless. Um, I do have a reading here for you. And I'd just like to give a shout out to all my subscribers for your support, mainly. Um, I do have some good news and I do have some bad news here for you, for your reading today. So I did pull a couple Oracle cards. We're gonna start off with that first. The Ascension card. Past lives. And also Saint and Sinner. So the Ascension card is, uh, is telling me that there's been an awakening within you. Uh, this is for a specific collective. Uh, this might not resonate with everyone. Um, however, if it does resonate with, with you, then this reading is for you. If it doesn't, the next one might be for you. So this ascension, this awakening, this uh, realization, the aha moments, that you've been having are bringing tremendous clarity to you. And through this, it very well could have pissed you off. But in essence, it's actually also setting you free. Okay, going forward. And a lot of this has to do with learning about your past life or past situations that you've been dealing with. Now, the saint sinner, the past life, the ascension, these are all growth cards. These are internal growth, okay? This has a lot to do with realizing who you are and who you're not, okay? This has a lot to do with standing in your authenticity and utilizing your past to benefit your future going forward, okay? There are certain lessons that we learn in our life that create a situation where we have a learning lesson involved. And it brings me back to the, the saying that things don't happen to you, they happen for you, for your enlightenment. So going forward, be compassionate with yourself. Okay, be understanding and respectful of yourself and your spirit. Also, hold a place of forgiveness within yourself. 
okay? Anything that you are holding on to that no longer serves you, you might need to take a step back and take a look at that and try to find some healing in that. Because if you're allowing that to fester, you create a situation where you're literally bleeding out and infecting other people with your festering of situations that you're not letting go of. Part of that is taking accountability for your actions. Part of that is taking responsibility for your part in all this, okay? And realizing that just as much as you may be a sinner, to some degree, you're also a saint. Because through that learning experience of what you've been through is teaching you an understanding and a relation to other people. So let's say somebody that got heavy into drugs as an example, okay, and come out of that, or let's say alcohol, okay, substance abuse, whatever the case may be, and you've lived life with addiction, and you've dug deep, and you've realized where this addiction is stemming from, okay? This is also talking about your ascension. This is also talking about a realization about your life, about where you were, how far you've come, and where you're going, okay? So understand there's always options to change and make your life better, no matter what the situation. And the first step is awareness, okay? So that's with the Oracle cards going forward. Now let's get into your reading. So. We start off with the Ace of Swords, and yes, I've already shuffled, I've already brought them out because I wanted to know the story before I started the video. And considering I still can't go live yet to do the actual readings live, I'll be doing the videos and uploading them afterwards. So, we're starting off with the Ace of Swords, that's upside down, okay? So it's some sort of communication coming in from some sort of source. And I'm thinking this is a past person, okay? And they're coming in to pull the wool over your eyes. They're coming in to gaslight you. They're coming in to deflect the past and to make you kind of take a second look at it and to maybe rigmarole your brain into thinking that you're the actual problem when you're actually not okay they're trying to deflect and remove the responsibility and the guilt off of themselves and they're trying to place it back onto you okay so this is a person that you've had to deal with for years this is someone that you've had a lot of problems with in the past we got the ten of swords coming right side up so this is a person that you've had to deal with in your past. This is someone that's really put you through the ringer. This is someone that's pr pretty well put you to your knees to the point where you don't have any other options. Now the Four of Swords is coming out after this. This is a time of rest after battle. This is a time of reflection. This is a time of uh, realization as to what the whole situation was, okay? And during this realization and reflection, you realize the truth, okay? There's been some certain thoughts that have come to your head through you working through it and working to get beyond it that have come to, come to fruition to you. And it's almost like an aha moment comes in and says, bing, oh, no, that's exactly what's wrong. That's exactly what's going on. And all of a sudden, the fog clears, and you see it for what it is. Okay, this is about taking the rose-colored glasses off. Now, this is going to piss you off, this information that you're going to receive through these ascension moments, okay, of realization. It's going to piss you off, all right? And it's also going to set you free. 
but it has a lot to do with your perspective on how you look at it going forward. Now, the battle's not over. We've got the Five of Wands coming in, lots of conflict, lots of arguments, lots of rumors, lots of, uh, a lot of drama, unneeded drama. But it's because they can't handle the fact that you're glowing up. Okay, they can't handle the fact that you're now getting recognition for your truth. You're now getting recognition and people are starting to understand what you went through. Okay, their mask is slipping. Okay, and they're going to come back in. They're going to come back in as a knight of pentacles, thinking that they're going to try to support you in some sort of way. Okay, they're wanting to show you where they want to be accountable for their actions. They want to be responsible for being your hero. Okay, they want to be looked at in a better light than what you've shone on them. So they're coming in as a Knight of Pentacles to try to correct and, you know, maybe fan the flames or try to diminish the truth for what it actually is. And with this Two of Pentacles, they're coming in with an offer to balance things out. Okay, however, you, my dear, you are not playing. Okay, you know the truth. You know the truth. You lived it. Okay, this wasn't a case of, uh, this wasn't a case of you being absolutely crazy and out of your mind. You are very much lucid. You are very much in your mind, you are very much level-headed. You are very much a person of intellect. You are not stupid. You are not crazy. Do you understand me? Do I need to say that more times? You are not crazy. You experienced what you experienced. Okay, this is part of your aha moment. Okay? They're coming in very, very passionate, yet very, very vindictive with a different motive. Okay, you've got a, t a false twin flame here. They're gonna come in like they were your 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 soulmate. They're gonna come in like they were your um, your 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 other half, or there was some sort of a divine reason for you to be together, to help each other grow. Meanwhile, all they did is literally dig you a hole and try to put you in it. Okay. And they left you in a position where you literally had nothing. The Five of Cups talks about mourning the loss, something very, very important to you. Okay? This is also talking about situation where they don't wanted you to feel lesser of yourself. Okay? They wanted you to feel like you had no worth, that you had no reason to be here. Meanwhile, the inner blessings, the two, the two cups behind this person here that's moping on the ground, realizing that they've lost all this stuff, they haven't even realized they still have blessings. They still have the strength within them to overcome this. Okay? They still have the ability to make things better in their life. Okay? Because this person pretty well left you with nothing. I'm going to tell you a little secret. The one thing that helped me get out of my situation is the fact that I kept waking up in the morning with a beating heart. Okay? And my next segment of videos coming out, they're going to be separate from my readings. You should maybe stay tuned for that because it's going to help you bring some light to your situation. And these are different little things that I found that helped me get through what I needed to get through in order to get to where, to where I am now. And part of that secret is realizing that you have a heartbeat. And that beat has a very distinctive beat to your rhythm of the universe. 
and without this beat of your heart, you do not exist. So for you to wake up every single morning and have a heartbeat, that is a universal message to say that you matter. You have a reason to be here in this life. And this is an introspection for you to find that reason and to live that reason and to be that reason as a human being. So going forth, please, 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 please hold strength within yourself and know that there is a purpose for you here on earth. There is a reason for why you are alive. And despite what you are going through, this is to help you realize who you really are. This is, help, this is to help you realize and remember who you are going forward. Okay? So don't lose sight of that. Don't ever lose sight of that. And when you find yourself in the darkness, listen to your heartbeat. Pay attention to your heartbeat. Pay attention to your breath. Every in inhale, let you bring in the white light of healing and strength and clarity. And every exhale, let you exhale all the negativity, all the, sh all the shadow and all the shit that no longer serves you. Breath work is very important with life. With every breath gives you life. Okay? And it is as simple as that. Now. This person that come into your life. Very, very wishy-washy. This King of Cups flew off the handle here. Okay? This King of Cups was like this on the ground and flipped over. Okay? So this is someone that's very wishy-washy with their love. They're very give and they're very take. They give so much as they want to impress you, but they'll take, 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 take until you're depleted. Okay? They like to take off. They like to make you wonder where they are. Okay, this is for a specific collective. Okay, and they've left you in your Nine of Swords. They've left you in a position of reflection due to the hurt and due to the pain that they've caused you. And this has been a long time of reflection, wondering whether or not you were the problem. I got news for you. You were not the problem. You were never the problem. You were always enough. And you were never too much. And you were asking for the bare minimum and this King of Cups couldn't give it to you. They were too scared to love because they were hurt themselves. They chose not to heal and they chose to bleed it all over you instead. You have a decision to make. The Two of Wands comes out. This is a choice that you need to make. Okay? This choice that you need to make will determine the rest of your life. This is a very, very important decision that you need to make. That you need to sit back and really think about. Okay? In this specific collection, uh, collective, I do believe there may be kids involved. And if there's not... There's other contracts, there's other, um, there's other stipulations, very well could be animals, very well could be uh, a, a, joint, uh, a joint company where you guys are partners, it very well could be commitments of some sort that are kind of sitting in the way of this move or this decision. You've come to a fork in the road. You've come to a place where you need to make a decision. And this decision is based on your mental and psychological and emotional uh, stability. Okay? 
because you were lied to. The moon is upside down. You were lied to. They tried to pull the wool over your eyes. And all they're coming in with dirty dick energy. Okay, wishy-washy. Wishy-washy passion. That's all they're going to offer you. Okay? Just to keep you in a place of wonder for the next six to eight, what, nine months? Okay? And I'm getting the feeling that if they can't have you, no one else will. So they got to come in with some sort of other idea that you're going to that you're going to take in as a uh, new possibility. Oh, they've changed. They really haven't. Do you understand? They really, really haven't. OK. So going forward, just understand. That what they're coming in with to try to smooth over the wrinkles, to smooth the waters, to calm the waters is a bunch of bullshit, okay? And the only thing bullshit is good for, okay, is for growing flowers. Let's see if there's any final messages. Okay. Any final messages? go through this time and I'll go through one more time. Any final messages for the collective that I'm reading for today? Okay. Whew. Yeah. The devil. We got the Empress. And we got the Wheel of Fortune upside down. So this person coming in, they're, 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 they're really, really in need of your energy. You're basically a supply to them. That's all you are. That's all you ever were. So the moment that you decide to take the rose-colored glasses off and realize things for the truth is the day that your Ascension card will matter in more ways than one. You are the Empress. You need to remember who you are. You need to stand in your power and realize what you're capable of. Do you understand me? You need to build yourself up from the inside out. Start with your heart. Start with your compassion. Start with your forgiveness. Start with realizing that the person that's trying to lie to you, to try to control you, to try to sit, situate you in their, in their clutches, they're hurt. They're healing. They're hurt. They're letting it fester. They're damaged. They've had trauma in their life. But this gives them no excuse to try to create a situation of control over your life. Okay? They're trying to keep you stuck. They're trying to, to remove you from your destiny. This very well could be another continuation on to the other readings that I've done on the page. It seems to be like a series of stories. So this person is going to try to come in with more lies and more wool to try to pull the wool over your eyes. And so that way you have to question your the validity of your ascension and of your realization and of what you have come to terms with already. This is someone that has been separated from you for quite some time. And they've left you in limbo with no closure. They've left you in limbo with no support. They literally threw you out in the cold. They created a situation of lack in your life. 
where at first you didn't. You didn't have lack, you were stable. But because you were currently dealing at that time with a situation, something to do with your emotions, they took that upon themselves in order to create a situation of control for them. They used that against you. And I'll tell you right now, you will realize eventually that every good experience that you had with this person was an illusion. Sorry for the background noise. It sounds like somebody's drilling something. Sorry for that interruption. This person created a situation to make you question your value, question who you are. And this is why I'm saying you need to remember who you are. You need to remember why you're here. You need to make a plan to free yourself and get yourself out of this situation. So I think I'm gonna leave it at that. And I bestow many blessings of strength and courage and clarity for you all going forward. We got 2644 on the timer today. I wonder what that angel number represents. So thank you so much. Please feel free to comment if this reading resonated with you. Um, I do accept donations and they are greatly appreciated at this time. I am trying to create a no contact situation for me and my ex and it's becoming a little bit troublesome. So all the help that I could get would be greatly appreciated. And it also will put you in line for a personal reading. So I do thank you so much again for all the support now into the future. And all my new subscribers, thank you for joining in with the journey. And I hope to bring you lots of insight, lots of healing, lots of new perspectives that, you, that might help you to heal the past. Because I find that when we are able to heal our past, when we are able to heal our triggers of what triggers us, it removes the control from these toxic people. When there are certain things that want to come in and interrupt our lives and trigger us, the ability to overcome those triggers is paramount to not only our healing, but our freedom. So many blessings to you all, and thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more content coming.